Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a flow that lets you unlock a record in Salesforce during the approval process. This video was requested by one of our members. Thank you, Terrence. So if you have specific videos that you'd like us to cover or specific questions you'd like us to answer, consider signing up for our membership. Details are below. With this automation, we're standing on the shoulders of giants. So we're building on top of Apex actions that were created by Alex Edelstein, and you can get all the details on those actions at Unofficial SF. You should also take a look at his YouTube channel and subscribe. He's got quite a few useful solutions that are detailed out there in videos. So thank you, Alex. And now let's build out that flow. So the first thing you need to understand that in Salesforce Classic, there's a button that lets admins unlock a record during an approval process, but that button doesn't exist in Salesforce Lightning. So Alex has created these custom Apex actions, which let us recreate that functionality in Lightning. And there's a couple things we're gonna to need to do in order to get this done. First off, we need to make sure that your process automation settings are set up correctly so that we can do this. The second thing we're gonna to need to do is install those custom actions that Alex created. And then third, we're gonna build out the screen flow that has that logic in it. And fourth, we'll create a button so that you can trigger that screen flow from a record. So let's get started. In Salesforce, go into the setup area and pull up process automation settings. There are two settings here that you need to turn on. The first one is lightning runtime for flows. Make sure that this box is checked. And the second one is to allow Apex code to set and remove approval process locks. Make sure that that is checked too. Go ahead and save your settings. The second thing we need to do is install those custom actions. So here at unofficial SF, there's a video that goes over how those actions work. And then if you scroll down, you'll find that we've got a couple links. Under installation, we have a link here to install the unmanaged package, which is gonna install those Apex actions. Go ahead and click on that link and follow the steps to get this installed into your sandbox environment or developer environment. That may take a couple minutes. Once those actions are installed, we can now create our flow. So come back into setup, go to the flows menu and click new flow. This is gonna be a screen flow because we need to trigger it from a button ultimately. And then on the left-hand side, create a new resource. This new resource should be a variable. We're gonna call it record ID and the data type needs to be text. Check the box to make it available for input. This is where we're gonna save the ID of the record whenever that button is pushed. Next step is to hit the plus button, and this time we're gonna add an action. Under action, search for lock, and you'll see that we've got two new actions here. One says get record lock status, the other one says unlock record. Well, the first thing we wanna do is make sure that the record we're on is actually locked. So that's what this action is gonna do for us. It's gonna to check to see if it's locked or not. I'm gonna call this check lock status. Under input values, go ahead and toggle on record ID and select the record ID variable that we just created. Then click done. Next step is to add a decision element. This is where we're gonna look at the output of our first action. And if that record is locked, we'll go one direction. If that record is unlocked, we'll go another direction. So I'll call this is record locked. For our new outcome, I'm gonna put yes, locked. And under our resource, we can reference the action that we just created, the outputs from our check lock status. And this is going to be either true or false. You know that it's that data type based off this little icon that looks like two rings. So if the output is equal to true, that means the record is in fact locked. And we'll use the default outcome for when it's not locked. I'm gonna change the label for the default outcome to not locked, just to make it a little bit easier to understand. And then click done. So here you can see we now have these two different paths. Under not locked, I'm gonna hit the plus sign here and just click end. So it's a little bit easier to see that these are two separate paths that aren't gonna reunite. And let's add a screen to the not locked path. Hit plus, hit screen. Let's call the screen record is not locked. And then in the center of our screen here, we can add some display text. I'm gonna call this not locked message. And you can write whatever you'd like in this, in this component here. We could simply say the current record is not locked and click done. On the left-hand side, we know that that record is locked. So what we're gonna do here is add another action. The action we're looking for now is to unlock the record. Select that action, give it a label. I'm just gonna call it unlock record. 
And now again, it's asking us for an input variable. Which record do we want to unlock? So this is easy. Go ahead and toggle that on and choose that record ID resource we created at the very beginning and click done. Let's add another screen. I'm going to call this record is now unlocked. And let's add some more display text. Your record has now been unlocked and click done. Now let's save this flow and test it. Click save in the upper right. I'm going to call this approval process unlock record and click save. Let's test this. Click the debug button. The one thing it's going to be looking for is the ID of a record. I have an opportunity record here. It's currently not in an approval process, so it's currently not locked. If you look down at our approval history here, you can see that it had been submitted, but then it was rejected. So if we take this ID for this opportunity, I expect our flow to go down the unlocked path because it's not currently locked. So I'm going to paste that ID into our debug here and hit run. On the right-hand side, we can see what happened. The interview started. It got the lock status, and you can see that the output here was false. So it was not locked, which is good. That's what we expected. And then it looks like our decision worked as well. Is record locked? And the default outcome was executed. Our default outcome was that it was not locked. Perfect. Let's try this again, but this time we're going to put this opportunity into an approval process. For this approval process, I just needed to be in the negotiation stage. And now I can hit submit for approval. If you scroll down and look at the approval history, you can see that it is currently pending. So we are in that approval process. This record is locked. And now let's run this debug again. You can see it. it the outcome is saying your record has now been unlocked. So if we look over on the right hand side, you can see all the steps that it's taking. And in our decision, is record locked? The outcome that is executed is not the default outcome. It's our yes locked outcome. So everything looks to be working pretty well. Go ahead and click activate on this flow. Our final step is to create a button that's going to trigger this flow. Now for me, I want to add this button to the opportunity page, but you could add this really anywhere. You've got an approval process running. So under object manager, I'm going to go to the opportunity object, and that's where I'm going to create my action or my button that'll trigger the flow. Go down to button links and actions and click new action. Under action type, choose flow. And then for the label, I'm going to call this unlock record. Make sure that you're choosing the right flow. So under the flow option, find your approval process dash unlock record and select that. Now, if you haven't activated your flow, it won't show up here as an option. So you need to activate it before you end up creating this action to trigger it. Then hit save. Now that we have this action, we can add it to our page layout. Under opportunity, come to page layouts. Look at your mobile and lightning actions. And here we should have our unlock button available. There it is, unlock record. So grab that and drag it into the highlighted green area and then click save. If we come back to Jake's wood shop here and hit refresh, we now have a drop down and we have the button. I'm going to reject this approval process. Hit reject. Now we can try it out. If I hit unlock record here when it's not already locked, it says the current record is not locked. Perfect. Now, if I add this to a approval process and I hit the button again, hit unlock record, it now says your record has now been unlocked. And that's how you do it. So thank you, Terrence, for submitting this idea and for being a Rotive member. And thank you, Alex, for creating those custom Apex actions, which make this flow possible. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, click like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.